video should help you learn how to subtract using decomposition of numbers. Any number can be decomposed in many different ways. Decomposing is taking a number apart into add-ends that add up to the original number. I can decompose 300 in the following ways. 200 plus 50 plus 50 equals 300. Likewise, 100 plus 100 plus 100 equals 300. 200 plus 90 plus 10 equals 300. And 200 plus 60 plus 40 equals 300. Now we will use decomposition to help us solve a problem. With 300 minus 49, I notice that I have zeros in the 1's and 10 places. In subtraction, we generally subtract small numbers from bigger numbers. Therefore, I'm going to decompose 300 so that I can make this subtraction easier. I'm going to decompose 300 into 200 plus 90 plus 10. Now that I've decomposed the number, I can see that I have 10 minus 9. I also have 90 minus 40 in the tens place. Remember that the 4 in 49 is actually a 40 because of its place. After I subtract, I will get a 1, a 50, and a 200. I will add up these partial differences to get my final answer. I can always use addition to check my final answer if I'm not sure if it's correct. In the previous problem, I decomposed 300 into 200 plus 90 plus 10. I can also do the subtraction decomposing 300 in a different way. I just want to make sure that I have numbers that are bigger than the 9 and bigger than the 40. This time I'm choosing 50 and 50 with my 200. Even though I'm going to get different partial differences, when I add them all up, I will still get the same answer. Finally, we can do the same with decimal numbers. If we remember that 3 is related to 300, and 49 hundredths is related to 49, it will help us uh, decompose the number and do the subtraction. I chose to use 2 plus 9 tenths plus 1 tenth for my decomposition of the 3. Now I need to line up everything else. The 4 is in the tenths place, so I'll put that under the 9 tenths. The 9 is in the hundredths place, and I'll put that under the ten hundredths or otherwise known as the one tenth. When I look at that ten hundredths and the nine hundredths I can see it looks like ten minus nine. That'll help me to solve the problem. Now I get my partial differences and I have two plus five tenths plus one hundredth. My final answer will be 2 and 51 hundredths.